Hi all. Well, I've just been uh, I've been expanding a bit of my track sidings or uh, the run through there. I've, I've I've put an extra piece in, brought it further back, so now I can get a longer raking on both sides of that uh, platform. But mainly, what I want to talk about today and show is uh, the difference on track and uh, and points. I know I've mentioned points a few times in the past, but uh, well, I'm learning something myself every day. But I just want to show the difference now with different types of track and different types of points. And of course, uh, your Electro Frog and your Insta Frog with Pico points. Uh, the advantages and disadvantages, shall we say. But uh, I'll just I'll give you an instance. In past, I've always been a fan of the. Uh, Home bit express points, those are the longer ones, of course. Uh, all you have to do with these, and, and, and many times I didn't even bother with that, is to put some clips in, and there's no need to be wiring underneath, etc. etc. Uh, they work just fine, but of course, if you're working them with Pico track, there is just a slight difference in height. But I've just done this one here, I, I, I was having the odd little hiccup, we might say. Um, and I've put a Pico, a Pico a medium length one this is uh, and all I've done is I've just wired, I've, I've put a couple of droppers on but it did work quite well without even the droppers I've not cut the wires underneath like it tells you but I'll go through that later but just to show you a short wheel, a short base local, a little pannier to run through there now no hesitation whatsoever There you go. Whereas before, those little short wheeled ones, short base ones, you will get a, sometimes it just, I'll just show, on this little bit here, between there and the frog, you will get a bit of a dead spot. But, uh, no, as, as, well, I'm going to cover it in a minute or two about these points, because they say you have to cut the wires underneath, which I have done in the past. All I've done with this is I put the two insulate the plastic joiners. It must go on the these two coming from the V. That's that's the two inner ones there. The normal joiners on the outer, but just those two put that. On. And as you can see, it runs fine. I have another loco that used to give me a little bit of jip on on this uh, particular point here, but it was it was a Hornby one before. But now they all run through fine on there. Well, I'll, I'll just refer now to the different points and I'll show you what I'm This is another Pico one. Again, it's uh, SLE 96, I think they are. Yes, they are. Um, it's as it's come out of the packet. You've got that wire there. Uh, and there's, there's two, there's a wire on these. Um, and <laughs> it tells you on the back of the pack and I've done this in the past, I don't know if you can see this, for DCC and to run smoother, to cut those two wires there, that are underneath, and then put a wire join across there, which I have done on this, this set of points, I'll show you. Solid wires across those two, and I don't know whether you can see it, if you focus where there was the wires there going across I've cut those so I've done as it says on the pack but believe you me when I run a loco through there you've got a dead point a bigger loco no problem but a short one you'll get a, a dead point on there now I know that it's mainly uh, asked you to do that if you're doing a an, an under 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 layout sort of points motor because then you've got this extra wire here and of course you've got to run a lead from there to your points motor underneath but I use the side mounted I'll, I'll, side mounted points motors which again I'll show you in a minute but as I say it's a bit confusing all the different ones and then of course we've got this is the Hornby one, the um, Express Point. 
and it advises to put a clip in there as I say sometimes it works without but if you just put those clips in you should have a continuous uh, flow through uh, they're very good but as I say they don't mix they don't mix with different types of track like with, with it. there's a slight a very slight difference in height and when you connect to Pico flexi track which I use a lot of you can you'll not see it on here but there is a slight difference it's like with a track I mean <laughs> I, 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 I dropped a clanger with this but uh, you've got your streamline flexi track and you've got your they're both streamline track but one's F which is fine scale uh, and then the universal I bought these by mistake, but you can use them if you're using all fine scale. Yeah, if you need fine scale points as well. But again, they don't mix with it ordinary. Uh, I think you can just hang on a minute. I'm just trying to bring it in. That's your ordinary points with your fine scale. As you can see, there's a difference in height there. So you can't use ordinary points with a fine scale. You've got to have fine scale points as well. Whereas this is the ordinary streamline. And as you can see, it's a straight match. No problem. Uh, it's just that I'm trying to point out that there's, there's different sites, types of, of points and different types of track. Uh, you can go on to fixed track, you can go all Hornby, go all the Hornby track. But I used to, I tried the Hornby Flexi track once and uh, to be honest I found it was too fragile. Um, and also with these Hornby points, as I say, they're very good. They're just a fraction out to your, comp, to your Pico track, you can use them. But again, if you like me, well, I, as you know, I keep changing my layout, so I'm lifting them quite, you know, taking them out and re-putting them in. And again, these are very fragile, they soon break, they really do, whereas the Pico, they're twice as strong. Uh, I'm going to show you using a, a side-mounted uh, points motor anyway, so I'll do that next. One thing I forgot to show when I was showing the different points and track, of course, is the shorter points, the Hornby Doom and uh, Batman and also Pico, of course, these shorter points. That's the sort of mid-range one, that's the short one and that's the long one. These short ones, I would say, a definite no-no. Uh, I've had a few myself, but... More often than not, you do get problems with derailments with these short points. Uh, if you're going to use Hornby, uh, and as I say with Pico, the Express or the longer ones as I call them, they're far better. Um, I'm just setting up these switches up here, so I'll show that points motor, side points motor working later on. Yeah. There, there is no difference with fine scale for running a loco, as long as you're running all fine scale. That's my test track, program track rather. Uh, I've just put this little pannier on here. As you can see, they run just the same, no problem. And I think probably they are uh, a lot easier to uh, set for the track of these fine scale. There's more, they seem to be more flexible. But as I say, you'd have to do your own layout in it. And just to prove that they do, it does work okay with you. Just a uh, uh, sample, I'll show you how I do it. Easy way, easy way to do it. These are the side mounted points motors. Uh, that's the Pico um, points. Uh, I wire it up, uh, it's three wires coming away, and you just wire through to your, well these are Pico switches. And as you can see, it, it's very simple. You've got a feed coming in here, and you can put as many switches on as you like. Put your feed coming in at the side, and there it is. And that works your points. That's a very easy method to work without 
I know a lot of you like to go under the layout with the points mortars. I, I have some myself, but I've, not, I've never got around to fitting them because I have a bit of a problem. I ain't leaving enough space underneath and trying to get under there to work with it is it's going to be a hell of a job. But uh, this is a simple, easy way. And I say, it works. I've just stuck it down with some uh, glue tap just to show you, like. But all it is is M3 wires, as I say, into the Pico switches, and you feed into your switches, and then you can put as many switches on as you like. Um, but I know I, I talk in riddles a bit, but <laughs> I hope you understand what I was trying to get at. Uh, different types of track and so different types of uh, go underneath the layout, and that pin, of course, goes through the through the points, and of course the motor then you have to wire it through. Uh, so as it, it it moves side to side, there is another part that goes on there. You, I didn't realise you need another part to go on, but uh, uh, that's that's the other points motor. As I say, it's to be fitted underneath the layout, which it makes it a bit difficult if you've if you've got like I have about six inches between my bottom, which was a mere original layout. There we have it now in position to all this. This knees ballasting, of course, and camouflaging, but working okay. I've put the switches up there. It's not uh, absolutely fantastic, but yeah, it's not fantastic, it's but it'll cool. for the time being. And that's the one. You see the wires go through and underneath then to join up. Yeah, uh, that'll do for time being anyway. Hope you can all understand or understood what I'd signed to say. But what I was trying to show was that you probably as well with the Pico points, the stronger, as long as you use the Pico track of course. Um, as I say, if you're using side mounted point motors, use Electrofrog, but don't bother cutting all those wires. You see that little loco there going through as smoothly as anything. We, uh, I didn't cover about fixed track, but with the fixed track, I think on the curves, you, or sometimes on curves, you, you can be better off using fixed track. Again, if you're using Pico, Flexi or whatever, you want to use the Pico uh, <coughs> fixed curves, etc. I think this third, third radius, second radius, and, and it, is there a fourth radius? I think they'll probably be alright, but I think the first radius is a bit too tight. But, uh, as I say, I just uh, thought I'd play. Just mention about track again. We don't uh, we don't sort of cover it very often. We just sort of late and show the trains running. Right, I'll run a couple of trains and we'll try and put a, this video together then. Sorry, I'll just show the uh, points marker white working again. That's with the side mounted points motor, of course.